your 2017 state tournament champions with a total of 84 points. Congratulations to Mentor High School. I don't think anyone really ex expected it. I think it was, it, was, it was a shock. And when they announced third place and we knew we were going to nationals, and they announced Solon second, that, that was a huge shock too. I don't think anyone expected uh, that to happen. I got emotional, and I got emotional about the fact that the kids we couldn't put on the team were standing by the team and helping us get there. Thomas Cromas and Megan Rumpel coached experimental design for us, and we basically threw together three kids that had not worked together, and over three weeks, they coached them up to where they came in first in the state in that event, so that was just marvelous. Science Olympiad is a STEM competition. Each team that competes is allowed to have 15 students, only seven of which can be seniors. Here at Mentor, our teams have made it to states every year of our existence, dating way back to 1990. There are 23 events, and in the competition, there are six time slots. So you have to figure out how to place your 15 team members in all those events and meet the schedule. You don't move on on an individual basis. You may be first in your event, but you don't move on. It's only if the team moves on. When one event goes wrong, it pretty much brings the whole team down. But this year was different. Like all events across the board went well. So. About a third of them are building events, and two thirds are paper events. One event is invasive species. They have to know every invasive plant or animal in the United States. Uh, there's another event, geology. They have to know all the rocks and minerals uh, in the United States. Other events are building events. Uh, this year they're doing helicopters. Some of the building events involve cars going across the floor trying to hit a mark. Physics, chemistry, earth science, you name it, the whole spectrum is covered. For each of the 23 events, we have a coach. They may be a parent or a community member that has expertise in each of the different areas of science and engineering. And the students meet with that coach one to two hours a week, every week, beginning in October. So there's extensive preparation on the part of the students. The students on our team are just great kids. They do a lot. I mean, they may be in orchestra, they may be in sports, and somehow they find time to learn a heck of a lot of science and engineering.